KHOU 11 News. A man claims his ex-girlfriend had his child by stealing his sperm from a Houston sperm bank. You heard it right. And he has filed a lawsuit against the sperm bank as well as his former girlfriend. So guys, it seems that if you're a man and have sperm, you're risking impregnating all sorts of crazy bitches, even long after you stop fucking them. Well, at least if you keep your sperm frozen in the sperm bank. This is another story of why men should never ever trust women, not their wives, not their girlfriends with their sperm. Because when shit hits the fan, this is what happens. I don't know if I want to throw up, cry, pass out. That's how 44-year-old Lane Harden says he yeah. felt when he found out his sperm had been swiped by his ex. At least to this guy's credit, she's his ex for a reason. I mean, seriously, the bitch robbed this poor bloke of sperm and then went on to get pregnant so she can have a kid. I already see two victims in the story, this man and his future biological son. Is it any wonder why so many men are going their own way, going MGTOW? Fuck! Inside this facility on Fannin is the scene of the alleged crime. Exactly, this guy didn't get to pump and dump that crazy robbing cunt. Not only did he miss out on 30 minutes of pleasure hitting it raw, but now the crazy robbing cunt will hit the print button on the human Xerox machine and presto, you're the father. Martin says his ex, quote, bluffed her way into getting the clinic staff to give her two vials of his frozen sperm. He says the whole thing was so loosey-goosey that the clinic handed over the vials in a brown paper bag. So in other words, your sperm is as secure as loosey-goosey at sperm banks. Any crazy cunt has access to it. I wonder what would happen if I rocked up to a real bank and asked to withdraw 50 bucks from best friend's account. I bet they would ask me all sorts of questions. They would want my bank card, not to mention my ID. At the end of the day, there are more precautions taken giving an 18-year-old a pack of cigarettes and checking their ID than there was for this uh, sperm bank checking the, the credentials of this lady. Harden claims he donated for the specific use of the mother of his 12-year-old son in case she wanted more kids after his vasectomy. He claims the contract stated no one else could use his sperm. But Harden's ex, named in documents as Toby Duvall, is countersuing. She claims Harden told her she could use the sperm to have a child, went with her to the doctor, and was fully aware of her insemination. Harden says she's out to get him. Like I said before, women lie and manipulate men to their own advantage. This guy is a fucking idiot for even disclosing information that he had frozen sperm stored at a fertility clinic. Granted, the cum robbing cunt was a psycho, but if the stored sperm was only for his previous partner who already had the child from him, why the fuck did the cum robbing cunt have to know about this also? Loose lips sink ships. Vindictive. I, I think uh, jealous, uh, control. It don't stop when he's 18. This is forever. And there's an innocent child that this ripple effect that affected me and my family. When he gets old enough and realizes how he was brought into this world, then his ripple effect starts. Yeah, buddy, use your bold fucking noggin and don't reveal to all the bitches you date and sleep with where you keep your frozen ice cream. I mean, sperm. Because children who are not wanted should all be aborted. And because you're highly unlikely to be involved raising this bastard child, this creates another problem that is kept hush-hush. But it's a fact that children raised by single mothers often turn out to be car thieves, muggers and grow up to be losers. Single mothers are flooding society with criminals. You would think that any single mother would devour the statistics and do everything possible to try and beat the odds, but most just stick their hands in the sand, hoping things will turn out okay. Our legal analyst says Harden can win this if it's proven the clinic did not follow proper procedures when it handed over the sperm. If I found negligence on the facility, that led to this result against the wish of the sperm donor, and the sperm donor has no contributory negligence, I think he, they have a, a very good claim. Sorry guys, but no amount of money will reverse the situation. Can you imagine having a child with a woman who you want nothing to do with, and the child is going to be there for as long as you live? The kid will also feel abandoned, hurt and cheated. You see, in most of these situations, it's the children who are the real victims. But of course, his mother will paint a completely different picture, claiming that she was the real victim and not his biological father, who was a devil's asshole. 
Now, Harden wants damages from the clinic and his ex-girlfriend. The attorney for the ex is calling Harden a money grubber who is only after his client's family's wealth. But regardless of which side of this you may take, at the center of it is a two-year-old boy who everyone agrees has never seen his father. Reporting live from the newsroom, Sherry Williams, KHOU 11 News. The sad fact is that single welfare mothers are raising the next generation of thugs, rapists and murderers. And it's true that children raised by fathers grow up with more respect for the law and authority. When boys get to their teenage years, what can their mum do to them? Ground them or yell at them? What if they decide that they don't want to be grounded? What is she going to do then? Boys need a strong disciplinarian to be kept in check. Every statistic that I have seen has shown that single father homes are superior to single mother homes. Obviously, we rarely hear about this from the mainstream media as it's against what our current feminist propaganda would have us believe. But men actually are necessary in a child's life and are a great positive influence. Without my father, I would have never become the man I am today, all because of the strict discipline and expectations he had of me. Boys are not like little girls. You can't just talk to them. They have to fall into a natural hierarchy and know their place and rank. Boys respect strength and power, and women just don't understand the male way of logical thinking. On that same token, women with fathers tend to have more respect for themselves, because their daddy loved them and showed them how special and valuable they are. They don't feel unloved or have a void that needs filling, and therefore don't have sex as early because they have a real father, so they aren't desperately seeking the affection of a man. Every promiscuous young teen girl out there is just out looking for her father. Oh, and coming back to the main story, I just found a home tape from the cum robbing cunt. Enjoy. Hold on, that's right. You don't want kids. Maybe you just don't want kids with me. Is that it? Well, guess what, baby? Maybe it's not your decision. You think this flimsy knot is any match for me, huh? You think this latex knob is going to stop me from carrying our sweet, sweet love child? the baby maker and I decide and I choose life I choose you cheers to our future together oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I'm ovulating right now oh, and maybe Here's the first picture of her baby. Oh, I really love you, baby. Let me just grab my stuff off the bus. Remember guys, if you're going to have sex with women, make sure to always use a condom. Your own condom. Never settle for her condoms as women can prick holes in them. Never ever believe that a woman is on birth control because women lie all the time to get pregnant. After you fuck her, take your condom with you or flush it down the toilet wrapped in toilet paper. I would also advise against coming into her mouth or on her tits and ass. All it takes is for her to reach in and grab some of that baby batter to get pregnant. You'd be surprised what women are capable of. And if you have sperm stored at the sperm bank, keep it to yourself and your doctor. Don't end up like this guy. Thanks for watching the video guys. Avoid the drama. Avoid the cum robbing cunts. Choose MGTOW today.